This is Eric Mwade with it is August the 10th 2011 let me refresh the page here so you can see where the Dow is trading at they just wanted to show you the date here uh, it is August or, or does Yahoo 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 right there so I just wanted to purposes of learning so it is um, August the 10th 2011 and what we are looking at here is a, a market that has been down about 10% the month of August so it's been the first couple of days of this month this is the eighth trading session of this month and already the market had been at as down as 13% but what I wanted for the purposes of this video is as we see the market here trading down 241 points let me try and explain to you the situation here is on Monday today is a Wednesday on Monday the Dow was down about 560 points that was Monday on Tuesday yesterday the market was up the Dow was up let me see Let's see whether we can get this the Dow was up yesterday 400 and 29 points now for the purposes of this video I think what I'm trying to show you here is the RSI yesterday the market had a big up day because its daily RSI moved above 30.90 the daily RSI moved above 30.90 and closed above this level as it moved above this level it was good for this kind of a gain what I'm trying to tell you is that and, and reinforce the idea at 30.90 whenever you clip below that and close below it you get a big down session if this happens on a daily chart you're gonna have a big down day if it happens on a weekly chart big down week if it happens on a monthly chart big down month if the close is below this now on the contrary if you have a move back above this is on the on the RSI on any time frame daily weekly monthly 30.90 whenever you move above it like it did yesterday you get such gains and I think the entire market complex was up yesterday as they moved above 30 this is the S&P 500 was up 4.74 percent and you can see where it closed for the day the RSI moved above and stayed above 30.90 and that's why we had a big day on the S&P 500 this is important because even uh, what wh why do I make this an issue in this video is because I'm just trying to show you the significance of understanding where stocks are trading in relation to 30.90 sometimes it can help you avoid a nasty situation now after the market closed yesterday and I looked at the closing numbers on the RSI even as we see the Dow here now at 270 is that there was a likelihood given this now these are uh, these charts I'm showing you here yesterday's close we don't, we are, I'm not reflecting today's close I mean today's trading action but what I'm trying to say here is at this rate coming in today we had the transports trading at 28.42 and there was a chance today they could move above 30.90 but given that the futures when I woke up this morning the futures were pointing to a lower open I started suspecting that we might see a big down day at the close and I'm gonna I'm making this video with about markets been open a market's been trading for about 25 minutes so it's very early in the day it's 25 minutes I'll make this video and I'll and I'll pause it and I'll come back at the conclusion of the day to see whether the prediction that this day might turn out to be a big down day holds true and I'm gonna show you now some closing numbers on the daily RSI see what happens is because we've kinda entered a bearish phase where you can see NYSE composite broke down from this it was forming a wedge here it had an opportunity to break out or break down but it's obvious that it chose to break down ever since we dropped this drop here below 30.90 right there that drop that day the Dow was down 600 points at the close 
but the closing numbers is what I want us to pay attention to because I'm gonna come back at the end of the video for, for example if you take a look at the New York Stock Exchange closed yesterday at 31.28 if I take a look at it in real time right now it's probably below 30.90 and you can see the new so today as of right now the day is not over they could reverse things but because we are now below 30.90 at this rate if this continues this is gonna lock in to a down day in the market if I use take a look at another uh, again let's take a look at the S&P 500 yesterday it closed closed at see where the S&P 500 closed at yesterday uh, S&P 500 closed yesterday with its RSI at 31 daily RSI at 31.68 and in real time right now let's see what it looks like we update that take a second see it's now at 29.05 which is about a 2% clipping as of this moment what I'm what I'm saying is that even as I see you know traders and the market trying to show uh, signs of wanting to because the, at the open the market was down about 330 points but what I'm saying is this close to me is locked in probably I would speculate that it's gonna be an even lower close now if we turn around and turn positive we might see a very strong rally because some of the instruments like the Dow transports might have an opportunity to move above 30.90 and that's the complexity of it as of right now I'm looking at the major averages moving below 30.90 and just for the purposes of putting it on record I'm gonna go through some of the charts that I have here saved so we can just take a look at the closing numbers because at the uh, end of the day I'm gonna continue this video briefly just to help us understand how to take advantage of the 30.90 now remember there are other levels there's the 50 level and there's also the 69.10 these are very critical levels so there are three levels that we always need to pay attention when the market is bearish watch out for this number here on all time frames especially on the monthly because that means a big down month 30.90 we also want on a bullish market we want to see your stock move above this level 69.10 then also it's always important to check out the 50 level so 50 50 is another important level because things move stage big point rallies or sell-offs as they clip and move below or above 50 it's just how the game is played but for the purposes of this video we're gonna take a look at this number here and I'm gonna just go through the charts that I have here to show you what the daily closes were and as I do that just to help you see you in real time right now see the Dow is still now even a little bit down probably closer to the lows of the day uh, down 332 29 points kind of consistent with the daily RSI closings and the fact that they are now potentially 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 because the day is not the day has not closed uh, potentially wanting to close below 30.90 after they closed above 30.90 so here are the charts I uh, just take a note of them Dow transports this is a yesterday's close this does not reflect today's close NYSE comp this is a Nasdaq um, Dow S&P 500 again the Nasdaq comp probably had that twice uh, triple Q's close at 36.66 and then let me point out something here about the triple Q's here because you see the close way above 30.90 sometimes you know it's gonna be a big down day for example if this one would move below 30.90 today that's gonna confirm a huge down day down two percent right now to about three close to three percent and that's a big down day for the uh, triple Q's at, at any rate if this one continues to trending lower and closer to its 30.90 I think the Dow Jones might be down much much more and continuing on here just for the purposes of recording what the daily closes were this is now the airline index close at 29.10 
uh, the banking index closed just under 30.90 it closed at uh, 30.07 here's IYR at 35.58 uh, here's a SOX which closed at 32.95 and XLF at 33.37 and as we see check this out right now the market is again deteriorating much much lower so here we go we see the ultra ETFs making new highs for the day and the Dow continue to go down again it's, it's not a like um, it's just by observing the daily closes yesterday that this makes a lot of sense and that's it for now so I'm gonna stop the video here I'm gonna leave you here with what seems like a, a down day that is locked in and baked in the market probably I would speculate even much lower but still even at, at this rate it's a significant down day consistent with stocks moving below 30.90 I'm gonna pause this video right here probably be back in another five and a half hours something like that before the close or just at the close or after the close so we can see what the closing numbers were and in, in this more like a real-time video we are gonna see whether just understanding the basics of mathematics and Fibonacci numbers how we can avoid for example today would not be a good day to go along because you don't know how low they are gonna go you wanna go along as things move above 30.90 just as an example but anyway this is Eric Moad I'll catch you later here in about five hours or six hours after the conclusion of this trading day this is August the 10th 2011of the year. You're talking about structural challenges. That means two-thirds of, of the tax dollars in the U.S. go to three programs, Medicare, Medicaid, Social Security. They have to be redone. This is Eric Mwadith. I'm back. The market has now closed and uh, you see the Dow uh, closed down 519 points and just as far as the Dow was concerned at the beginning of the video early in the morning I had, the Dow was down about 260 200 or about 300 points to the downside on days where you move below the 50 69.10 and the 30.90 you tend to close at the highs or for the lows of the day depending on whether you're moving above that line or moving below those uh, levels so today we've seen the market pretty much uh, close towards the lows of the day and that's pretty much in consistent with what we were trying to highlight in this video this, these are the closing numbers as, as far as yesterday's close on the daily RSI's you see them right there and you can see all of them were just above 30.90 pretty much all of them that and hence when the market gap down this morning I made a note of letting you guys know that usually that's not the kind of market you want to go along especially early on you might go along at the close because maybe a reversal is gonna be in play tomorrow but as of right now this is how things settle out For example let's look at the Dow which had closed yesterday at 30, 32.66 see where the, the Dow here at the conclusion of this day it's at 26 so right there and pretty much without making this video too long unnecessarily long uh, it's pretty much what happened throughout today's session if we take a look at the Nasdaq now you'll see that consistent with moving below 30.90 we had a 4% drop on the Nasdaq and it closed at 29.27 what is what is really important to note here now maybe we set up for a rally tomorrow if the market opens higher maybe now the market is gonna be moving back above 30.90 and that's gonna give another strong update but given that, given that the weekly charts don't look very strong look at the weekly charts here for the Nasdaq on the weekly for the Nasdaq because of this MACD right here moving below zero I'm not sure that any rally is gonna hold so I think there's more downside pressure the fact that this has broken down we are now moving below zero here that tells me that more than likely that pressure technical pressure from the MACD is gonna be moving these markets lower 
Let me take a look at the XLF, which yesterday closed at 31.63. It was down 6% today, and it's because it moved below 30.90 on its daily. I want to take a look at some stocks here. Bank of America, which was down 17% this week so far, and down a lot last year, probably 20% again last week. Notice that Bank of America down 10% today also because it moved below 30.90 today. Let's take a look at uh, Citigroup. Down 10% because it moved its daily RSI below 30.90. Now let's take a look at... Now this is a surprise because this one doesn't move that much on a day-to-day -day basis. And it's a uh, Goldman Sachs. Fresh multi-year lows. You see, yesterday had a big update and today down and confirming below 30.90, down to fresh 52-week lows, are down 10%. And you see, yesterday it was up 4% as it moved back above 30.90. And today, you can see it was down, down again, 10% because it moved back below 30.90. So I hope this video helps you explain to you to be very careful of the three levels we talked about. When markets are bearish, watch this level because that tells you things are going to be moving up with gasto. All right. Always watch for this. We also need to keep an eye on the other level is when stocks are bullish. Keep an eye on this level here for gauge of strength. So this is Eric Moada. Peace and blessings.